Hello everyone, this is Jack from Saga Machinery and uh, welcome to see our show. And uh, uh, today we are going to introduce our uh, new machines. This is the uh, uh, engineer model T55 uh, automatic uh, lighting table source. You see this source got a computer touching screen. It's got an uh, uh, automatic control program. And uh, the friends we are... Uh, okay, we open this. The rig touching friends we are using is a uh, uh, servo motor drive. Uh, it moves automatically according to the parameter we set. And then we set it uh, back to uh, 500. Then we press move. Okay, the uh, reference we are using is uh, uh, automatic control. Uh, and here we see this is a uh, uh, cross cutting fence. The cross cutting fence we are using a uh, uh, magnetic. Digital rulers. You can see. And uh, these rulers, you see, the initial one is up to 1.8 meter. Uh, but uh, sometimes we we need to use the uh, extension rulers. We also want to uh, use a very precise uh, measurement, so we can use these two buttons. Firstly, we uh, pull it together, uh, and uh, we press this uh, two button. You can it, see it change number. This number is uh, our extension rulers. So the measurement we can change from external rulers to the initial rulers. Initial rulers now is uh, 1980, uh, 1298, and the external ruler is uh, 2989. And after you uh, fix it, you tighten it. And you can see if uh, we're using the liner guiding rails to make it uh, uh, very stable without any uh, jump of the numbers. You can see from here, this is the liner guiding rails. And we uh, make a special uh, stops for this. You see, there's no jump on the numbers, very precise. You see, even we tighten it, the number not change. Uh, without this uh, uh, liner guiding rails, sometimes it will jump. When we tighten these screws, the numbers will change a little. This one, may, this liner getting rails, make it very precise and stable. Okay, we see here, from here, you see uh, we uh, still left the cross cutting function with special power to protect the liner getting rails. And uh, if you want to cut solid wood, you can take it out to put it here to make a good against of the materials. And you can see we got a, a different uh, degree uh, tilting of the rulers. If we uh, take off the ruler here and then you can move it to, to 
different uh, degree. And the uh, side tables were using very big uh, size profiles, which is a uh, very stable. You will need. There's no any shake. This is a uh, very important that uh, when we're placing a very heavy panels. Uh, the side tables give a good support to uh, panels to make sure that it's uh, parallel with the uh, feeding tables so the blade can cut a very precise edging blade. And if the table's a little bit uh, tilting, then the cutting of the panels maybe not a precise 90 degrees, so this is very important. And uh, you can see uh, even here, most the machines use uh, uh, aluminum uh, uh, external arms. We are using very solid metal arms to make sure that it's uh, very strong and give a uh, very heavy supportive works. Okay, let it, let us see the soul systems. You see. Okay, we open the door and uh, you can see the soul systems. Uh, you see the whole uh, soul units are solid cast irons, and you see here it got uh, integrity, in integrate, strengthen uh, frames to uh, uh, make sure that. Uh, uh, the Sony so units when working at very heavy duty cutting works, it not got any shake. And uh, uh, very powerful motors gives us a very big capacity cutting thickness up to 200 millimeters extreme height cutting height. And uh, the uh, electrical spare parts. This is the electrical cabinet. You can see we use all uh, European model C certification uh, electrical spare parts. You can see this is the Chenader, this is the ABB, even this is the ABB. And this is the, the servo systems. If we use an uh, uh, automatic cutting program, okay, let us see, uh, uh, we can uh, program here to uh, type in the numbers and it will automatically program for us. And if we want to uh, cut, we can send it here by uh, pressing this one. You see, it will move automatically and uh, it gave a warning that uh, take care of the collision of the blade. Okay, 